Welcome to the post-game interview show. We're here with Coach Yao and with Lacey Singletary, the center off the bench for the Royals. A 71-62 victory over Carson Newman. They were 6-1 and one coming in, and Coach, you were 3-4. and four. You're able to get them their second loss in conference play. Kind of give us your overall thoughts about this game, really one of the more complete games that you've had both in the first half and in the second half. It was, I mean, it was just a well-played game for us, except, except for that little segment at the very, very end that uh, I think really we probably just kind of lost our focus. I and mean, we were up 14 at the time, and I think we probably thought the game was over, and it's never over against Carson Newman because they got such tremendous three-point shooters. Uh, you know, I was just never comfortable, and I just think we lost our focus in that, in that moment. Uh, but overall, you know, Carson Newman showed us everything in the first half. They showed us man full court. They showed us zone full court. They played a little bit of zone in the quarter court. They played man. And I felt like even though we were down three, we had done some really nice things. And I just felt like if we come out in the second half and stay on that same course and just tighten our defense a little bit more, that, uh, you know, we we possibly could have a victory to, you know, with, against them. And we just played really well. It was a total team effort. We had four players in double figures. And if you look at the stats, I think one of the most – the biggest difference in the game was the fact that we were, we we had we were 20 of 22 from the free throw line to their 11 of 12. So that means we were aggressive, very assertive on the offensive end, got it inside, whether it's off the penetration or passing in, to the interior. So it was just a overall, it was just a very very well played game for us. Yeah, and definitely your aggressiveness inside, none more personified than Lacey Singletary, who you have sitting next to you. Lacey, you come in 14 points, you get seven blocks, six rebounds. It really was a battle down low. There was a lot of banging going on that the play, that the coach, uh, that the uh, referees actually allowed to <laughs> allowed you guys to play. But really, just talk about your presence inside and just the energy that you gave off the bench to really boost your team forward in that second half? Um, well, when I come in off the bench, I like to start off the bench because I get to watch the game and see how it's being played. So when I come in, I know what I have to do and I know what needs to be done. Um, just being down in the post, I, I tried to be aggressive, try to step up my game tonight, and um, it really showed, really turned out to be a good, good game for me. Yeah, it was an excellent game, as we mentioned. You also got two assists. Shawnice Petaway, the other forward, got six assists. Coast, your interior passing really was one of the outstanding points of this game for everybody that was able to watch. Your high-low passing, you were able to turn down good shots and get great high-percentage layups. Just talk about your overall passing. You get 17 assists on the night. Well, we emphasize passing a lot in our practices, but I, one thing I've noticed since I've been here, you know, I always thought Lacey was a good passer. She has a really good vision, court vision, and an eye for that, she, and a feel for that, and you can't teach that. So that's not something that we teach. I think maybe practicing and just putting an emphasis on passing has helped that, but the other thing is the team's not selfish. They're very unselfish, and, um, you, you know, between Abby and Tia and Shawnee and, and uh, Lacey, I mean, they're always looking for one another. And, uh, and of course, our guards are looking for them. We, we talk, we, we discuss a lot about playing an inside out, getting the ball inside, getting it out. And so, um, but I think it goes back to they're not a selfish, they're not, they're not a selfish team. And I think the other thing is that they're, uh, uh, we've got some people that are skilled in some areas, and I think that's one of Lacey's strengths is her passing. And uh, she does a very, very good job for that. Can't take a lot of credit for that. That naturally just comes from her. And uh, so, you know, um, I think that, that helps us, and it kind of is contagious. When one person starts doing it, they will do that. Other people start to see that and see the opportunities that open for them to be able to do that. So, uh, but I think, really think this game and the game, our last home game here, we passed the ball very, very well. Yeah, your passing was excellent, uh, as we mentioned. Now, of course, you go back on the road. You had the road loss at Coker. You come up against another tough SAC conference opponent. doesn't get any easier coming up on the road. What are some things that you're going to have to focus on to really take this kind of effort, as you mentioned, the last two home games, really, and then maybe able to convert that on the road and start getting a winning streak instead of having one game won, one game loss? Well, I mean, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to win on the road. I, I, I do think that, and I think you have to be a lot more focused. And uh, I, you know, we're just we just need to try to stay try to just continue to stay consistent. I think we're playing more consistently right now. Honestly, we did not have a bad game at Coker. Uh, I felt like our game at Coker, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with some decisions we made on the offensive end. But we did not play poorly at uh, at Coker. And so I felt like that was a halfway decent game. I don't think that game hurt us for this game. And so we came in here and played well. And so I think that we're ready to go to. You know, we're, we're is in best. We're in the best possible position we could be in to go to wing it on Wednesday night. Uh, they're a very, very good team, very, very athletic, and I think if. 
player for player, personnel for personnel, I, I have to think I, they're probably the best team in the league as what I've seen thus far. But, uh, you know, we got to go over there and be ready to play, and I think that um, I think we will. The next challenge will be on Wednesday when you go to Wingate. Check out queensathletics.com for all the information on that game. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Lacey, and good luck on Wednesday.